the James Webb Telescope has simply reported the clearest picture of Proxima b in history, uncovering amazing insights regarding this possibly habitable exoplanet. Go along with us as we embark on a journey through space to reveal the secrets of Proxima b and find out whether it might be the next Earth. We should take off into the vast expanse of space, where a mysterious planet exists in the habitable zone of its star, Proxima Centauri. This planet isn't just any ordinary rock. It's Earth's cousin, Proxima b, located a mere 42 light years away from us. This planet is shrouded in mystery and marvel. Could it be another Earth, with seas and life abounding on its surface? However, wait, there's more. Proxima Centauri b isn't alone in its orbit around the red dwarf star. It has a companion, Proxima Centauri c, and who knows what other secrets the star system holds. Perhaps there's another companion that we have yet to discover. The secrets don't stop there. Proxima Centauri b receives roughly the same amount of energy from its star as Earth does from the Sun. Could this really mean that there's water on its surface and maybe even life? As we venture beyond our own solar system, we find an entirely different universe of exoplanets. Planets that orbit stars other than the Sun. With 200 billion stars in the universe, the possibilities for exoplanets are endless. Some exoplanets even wander freely, untethered to any star, like rebel voyagers in space. However, among them all, Proxima Centauri b stands out as a particularly striking and intriguing planet with a year that lasts only 112 Earth days and a distance from its star that is multiple times closer than Earth is to the Sun. Almost certainly, one side of the planet is constantly bathed in sunlight while the opposite side remains in perpetual darkness. Now, let's talk about Proxima Centauri, the star that Proxima b orbits. Proxima Centauri is part of the Alpha Centauri triple star system. This system includes Rigel Centaurus, also known as Alpha Centauri A and Alpha Centauri B. Together, these stars form the closest star system to our own solar system. The two stars, Rigel Centaurus and Alpha Centauri B, form a binary system known as Alpha Centauri A and B. These G and K-type stars appear as one star in the constellation of Centaurus and are the third brightest stars in our night sky, with a peak magnitude of less than 2.7. Proxima Centauri, also known as Alpha Centauri C, is a red dwarf or M star found 21 light years away from the other two stars, roughly four times the distance between Earth and the Sun. It is, in fact, the closest star to us in reality. Proxima Centauri means the closest star in Latin. Discovered in 1915 by Scottish astronomer Robert Thorburn, Proxima Centauri, despite being our closest celestial neighbor, is not visible to the naked eye. It has an apparent magnitude of 11.13, which is much fainter than the human eye's limit of 6.5. However, don't let that fool you. Proxima Centauri is still a star worth marveling at. Red dwarfs like Proxima Centauri are among the most efficient in terms of energy production. They may not produce a lot of energy, but the internal convection process at their core keeps them shining for trillions of years. In fact, Proxima Centauri will remain a main sequence star for another 4 trillion years. However, the habitability of a red dwarf star like Proxima Centauri is still debated. For one thing, it's a flare star, meaning it has frequent and intense fluctuations. As a low mass star, its habitable zone would be much closer to it than the Sun's, projected to be between 0.23 and 54 cents. However, it's not as habitable as it seems. Proxima b is bombarded by intense ultraviolet radiation from its star, many times stronger than the radiation we receive from our sun. That's right. It's so intense that even the lightest atoms of hydrogen get stripped away, not to mention nitrogen and oxygen. But that's not all. Just because a planet is at the right distance from its star doesn't mean it can support life. Proxima b might not have a suitable climate, which is crucial for regulating temperature and maintaining a water-friendly surface. Without it, living organisms would be vulnerable to harsh space weather, making life nearly impossible. So, while Proxima b might appear Earth-like on the surface, it's far from being able to support life. People remain somewhat skeptical, as there are various factors that render it unsuitable. The quest to uncover the truth about Proxima b continues, and some people still hold hope. One instrument that has captured the attention of astronomers is the James Webb Telescope. 
After several delays, the telescope was finally launched in 2018 and will help us determine whether there is life on Proxima b. As with everything in science, things are never as clear as they seem. Numerous adjustments were needed to ensure that the James Webb Telescope delivered accurate images. As Abby Curve, a theoretical physicist at Harvard, explains if a planet like Proxima b can absorb light from its star, it can also emit it as infrared light. The James Webb Telescope was specifically designed to observe infrared light. It can capture images of this light on the planet's surface and search for patterns that might confirm the presence of water or an atmosphere. However, what if the planet has an atmosphere that is not conducive to life? The presence of an atmosphere does not guarantee the presence of life, warns Ed Turner, an astrophysicist at Princeton University. Proxima b could be like Venus with a thick atmosphere that is many times denser than Earth's and extreme heat that would make it impossible for life to exist. The journey to unravel the secrets of Proxima b is not without its challenges. While the James Webb Telescope holds promise, there are other factors to consider. With costs mounting, astronomers are under pressure to find a way to observe planets like Proxima b. The risks are great, but the rewards are even greater. The chance to explore the unknown to reveal the mysteries of a distant planet that holds the promise of life is a motivation worth pursuing. If the exoplanet were habitable, might we one day visit it? It's the closest exoplanet to us, which makes it so exciting, almost like looking into our cosmic backyard. What's even more intriguing is that it's roughly the same size as Earth and its position in the habitable zone suggests it might actually have conditions suitable for life. Proxima b's proximity also makes it an ideal target for our search for life beyond Earth. With it being so close, it's an excellent candidate for interstellar missions. Imagine the possibility of exploring this Earth-like exoplanet. Although we can't go there yet, it's certainly on the radar for future missions as technology advances. It's one of the most exciting ventures in the field of space exploration. However, it's no easy feat it would take 75,000 years for spacecraft like Voyager 2 to reach the Proxima Centauri system. Nonetheless, a solution has been proposed. Solar sails. These ultra-thin sails could be used to propel a spacecraft to the Alpha Centauri system and Proxima along with it. This technology uses solar pressure to keep the spacecraft on course, eliminating the problem of running out of fuel. And here's something even cooler. This advanced technology could provide insights into the possibility of life on other planets like Proxima b. But, as with anything this ambitious, there are limitations. For instance, the presence of an atmosphere doesn't necessarily guarantee the presence of life. Proxima b could be like Venus, with a thick, hot atmosphere that is unsuitable for life. And get this, the James Webb Telescope has the capability to detect such illumination, if it reaches a brightness of just 5% of the daytime side. Now, 5% might not seem like much, but when dealing with a star that is many times dimmer than our own sun, it's actually a significant amount. If Proxima b has an advanced civilization that is illuminating its surface, they might be using bright orbital mirrors to reflect sunlight from the day side to the night side. How cool is that? There are countless exoplanets waiting to be discovered in our universe. These planets come in all shapes and sizes, with some being enormous gas giants while others resemble our own Earth. But what do we know about them? One type of exoplanet that has captured the attention of space experts is the gas giant. These planets are similar in composition to Jupiter and Saturn but are much larger. Some of these behemoths have been dubbed Super Jupiters, dwarfing even the largest planet in our solar system. But that's not all. There are also hot Jupiters, gas giants that orbit very close to their host star, existing in a scorching world with temperatures that could melt metal. Imagine witnessing such a planet up close, with its raging storms and intense heat. In addition to gas giants, there are also Neptunian exoplanets, which have sizes similar to Uranus and Neptune. Among these are the hot Neptunes and mini-Neptunes, which are smaller and closer to their host stars than their gas giant cousins. These planets are often shrouded in mystery, with their atmospheres being difficult to study from afar. And we must not forget about the terrestrial exoplanets, which resemble our own Earth. These planets come in various sizes, ranging from smaller than our world to twice its size. There are even super-Earths, which have masses more than twice that of our planet, but are lighter than Neptune. 
One of the most captivating exoplanets recently discovered is Proxima Centauri b, which orbits the star of the same name. This planet is classified as a super-Earth with an approximate mass of seven Earth masses. Although it is close to its host star, it is still too far away to be considered within the habitable zone. Proxima Centauri b is not alone. It has a companion, Proxima Centauri c, which is significantly farther from the star. This planet has an orbital period of around five Earth years and was discovered in 2020 using pre-recovery Hubble data. What's even more intriguing about Proxima C is that it appears to be an exceptionally bright world, possibly due to the presence of a ring system. There's more to uncover in the Proxima Centauri system. In 2019, astronomers detected a change in the star's radial velocity, which could be the result of another planetary companion. If confirmed, this planet will be known as Proxima Centauri D and will be roughly the size of Mercury or Mars. Imagine a world where the night sky is filled with not only stars, but also countless other planets, each with its unique composition and orbit. The universe is full of surprises, and exoplanets are just one of them. With new discoveries being made all the time, it's an exciting time to be an astronomer. While we don't yet have an exact count of exoplanets, we do know they exist, just as we know the stars that light up the universe. However, exoplanets are not easily detectable, and it requires advanced technology and sophisticated telescopes to spot them. These planets are often obscured by the glare of their host stars, making them hard to study. But with advancements in technology, direct imaging of exoplanets is now possible with some of the world's largest telescopes. To be directly imaged, an exoplanet must be large enough to be seen by the telescope, far enough from its host star to avoid being obscured, and young enough to be hot and visible from Earth. These requirements limit the number of exoplanets that can be directly imaged, but they provide a fascinating glimpse into the characteristics and composition of these distant worlds. Exoplanets are most commonly discovered through the changes they cause in their host stars. The gravitational influence of an exoplanet can make its host star wobble, and this radial velocity can be detected by astronomers. The Kepler Space Telescope used the transit method, which measures the dimming of a star's light when an exoplanet passes in front of it. This method has provided valuable information about exoplanets, including their size, distance, and temperature. Here are some fun facts. Did you know that more than 22% of stars like the Sun have Earth-sized planets in their habitable zones? Or that TRAPPIST-1 is home to seven rocky exoplanets with water on their surfaces? Exoplanets like those in our solar system can also have natural satellites known as exomoons. With over 4,000 exoplanets discovered so far, we know they exist in abundance throughout the universe. Hot Jupiters, with their mass and rapid rotation, are the easiest to find, but countless other exoplanets are waiting to be discovered. NASA's James Webb Telescope is unveiling the secrets of the universe, one discovery at a time. This remarkable telescope has been gathering data and capturing stunning images of the universe, revealing previously unknown marvels. Recently, it made history with a groundbreaking discovery that will change our understanding of the universe forever. NASA reported that the James Webb Space Telescope has found the first compelling evidence of carbon dioxide in the atmosphere of a planet outside our solar system. This discovery provides crucial information about the planet's composition and development offering us a glimpse into the secrets of the universe. This gas giant planet orbits a sun-like star 700 light years away, and this finding represents a significant advance in our search for extraterrestrial life. NASA Administrator Bill Nelson assured that this discovery would offer us a new perspective on the universe that we've never seen before, igniting excitement among astronomers and scientists worldwide. But that's not all. The James Webb Space Telescope has been busy capturing incredible images and gathering data about the universe in the infrared. The light from the young, outflowing protostar named 110 IRS-4 illuminates the cold, wispy cloud material, and the orange dots behind the cloud reveal the light from distant stars obscured by the ice in the cloud. This superb research was part of Webb's Ice Age project which aims to study the evolution of ice from its formation to the development of icy comets. And that's not all. The James Webb Space Telescope has recreated the internal processes of a dusty disk surrounding a nearby red dwarf star, 
imaging it for the first time at these light frequencies in the infrared. This discovery provides crucial insights into the formation of planetary systems and could help us understand how our own solar system was formed.